Hi guys, welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the equations of circles. So the equation formula of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now you should remember h and k for your vertex form for quadratics, absolute value functions, all that good stuff, all of your formulas for algebra one. But now it's actually in the equation of a circle. Instead of it being the vertex, of let's say a parabola or a, an absolute value function, it's actually the center of a circle. So h, k, h is the x value, k is the y value of the center of a circle on the coordinate plane. r is for the radius. And if I was looking at a circle, I would basically just want to look at either the horizontal or the vertical measure to get my radius. I could look at something diagonal, but it would be a lot more complicated to actually get that exact measure. So the best thing, again, to do is just kind of to look at the horizontal or the vertical. So now if I really wanted to put this equation of this circle together, here's what I would do. I would look at my center. My center of the circle is at the origin, so it's 0, 0. So my h is 0, my k is 0. So I'd plug in a 0 for h and a 0 for k. My radius is just simply how long I see here. It's 3 units. So I would plug in a 3 and I would square it because it's equal to the radius squared. That's just part of the formula. So if I was to plug those values in, I'd have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 3 squared which actually just becomes x squared plus y squared equals 9. This right here is the equation for this circle. If I wanted to graph the circle based on an equation that I would give you, well, we would have to look at this equation here, and we'd have to use this formula to figure out what the center actually is. So here it says x minus h, and I have x minus 2. So that would mean my h value is 2. In my second part for my y value, the formula is y minus k, and I see I have y plus 1. If my k value was a positive 1, it would say y minus 1. But since it says plus 1, that actually means the k value would have to be a negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is my center. And again, think about it. It would be x minus 2, which is here. And then y minus a negative 1 would actually make it y plus 1. So I would be able to plot my center at 2, negative 1. I would then look at this number here for the radius. Now notice, see how it was equaling 9 here? The radius is not 9. It's actually whatever the square root of 9 is. So we agree that the radius here was 3, and so the radius there would be 3. So that means from this center, if I went out 3 units in all 4 directions, north, south, east, and west, and then I connected those in one smooth curve, I would be able to graph my circle pretty easily. Let's take a look here at the top. We're going to write the equation for a circle based on the center that I'm giving you and the radius. So remember, it's x minus the h value. So x minus 2 squared, and then it would be y minus 3 squared equals 4 squared. And I would get this as my answer. Now I can clean this up a little bit, just this 4 squared, and make it 16, and that would just be totally it. So if the values are positive, it's just x minus 2, y minus 3. But now since both are negative, think about what's going to happen there. If it's x minus a negative 1, I really know that's going to become x plus 1. If it's y minus a negative 4, I really know that's going to become y plus 4. And so I end up getting x plus 1 squared, y plus 4 squared equals 4. Because again, you're supposed to take that radius and square it. Last one. If you have a value of 0, when you do x minus 0, it's just simply x. So you don't need to put any of that in. And then if it's y minus that negative 2, Okay, we know that same thing here. If it was y minus that negative 4 and it became y plus 4, the same situation is here. If it's y minus negative 2, then it's y plus 2, and then 3 squared is 9. So now let's take a look at these circles here. What if I actually gave you a circle and I asked you to write the equation for that circle? Well, I'm going to call these circles A, B, and C, and let's look at circle A first. Circle A has a center at negative 4, negative 4. So think about that. If the center is at negative 4, negative 4, that would mean that it's then x plus 4, y plus 4. And then the radius. Look at the radius of the circle. It's 1. 1 squared happens to also be 1. And this is what the equation would be. x plus 4 squared, y plus 4 squared 
equals 1. Now let's look at circle B. Circle B has a center at 2, 1. So it's going to be x minus 2 squared, y minus 1 squared equals, now look at this radius, it's 2. 2 squared is 4. So it's x minus 2 squared, y minus 1 squared equals 4. The last one here for C, I have my center at 0, negative 1. So if I look at circle C and I have to do x minus 0, it's just x squared. A negative 1 value, so y minus negative 1 would mean it's y plus 1. And then my radius is 4, and 4 squared is 16. If I now gave you the equation and I asked you to go ahead and graph a circle, we would need to look at this equation and pull the center out, so just do the opposite. So if I see x plus 3, we really know that means it's negative 3. y minus 1 would mean the y value is 1. My radius would really just be the square root of this, which is also 1. So radius of 1, and then do the same thing in all four directions, and I have my circle. Okay, x minus 2, and then just y squared. So my h is 2, my y is 0, square root of 4 is 2. Plot my center, do a radius of 2, and if I did a radius of 2 in all directions, that would be my circle. And now the last one. If you just see x squared and y squared, it means our center is at 0, 0. Square root of 25 is 5. If I went out a radius of 5 units in all directions, I would have that circle there. I hope this video was easy enough and helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.